away from me. And I don't have to worry about his aggression as much. Now, another issue we were talking about was moving to our right. You're, it's the same objective. Keep the rifle on your opponent. You're pushing off on your front foot because you're moving over to your rear side. So when you're moving here, you're going to push off, boom, and re that's it. Realize this movement here. That's all you're doing. Step in here. Now, one of, the, one of the objectives you have to make sure that you pay attention to, and it's something that we have to fight because it's an instinct, is that we take long steps. Because we want to get to where we're getting to quickly. Okay? But we're ever, actually, we're overshooting our targets. It happens so often. We're overshooting the target. You want to maintain these half steps here. Because as you maintain these half steps, you're armed the whole time. When you take these long steps, you actually disarm yourself and arm yourself. Disarm yourself and you arm yourself. And you're going in and out of your offense. Okay? If you are timed during your disarmed movement, your opponent actually has an opening. So you're actually giving him an opening and trying to get to an offensive position. So don't leave your offense behind. Move with your feet first. So if I'm moving here, these half steps, I can get to where I want to, and anytime you see the open, you can fire. You can defend yourself from here because I'm never coming out of this stance. The minute I come here, exactly, he sees that opening, he goes, I have to go into defending myself in, by trying to find my offense. But he's not giving me the room to do that. So I actually gave him that opening by trying to take these broad steps. But if I'm here, that opening isn't there. So if he's able to move forward or anything, I can make the evasive move that I need behind my offense. You get used to